Yep, this video is just as crazy as it sounds. We will be installing Windows 98. Yes, the good old Windows 98. From back when Microsoft wasn't spying on its customers and you actually owned your operating system and didn't have random shit happening all the time. An operating system from back then on a modern computer. To make this video a bit more sensible, we will actually be installing it on a virtual machine, but we will try to preserve most of the specs. So as the name suggests, Windows 98 codename Memphis was released in 1998. This is actually a 16 or 32-bit hybrid operating system. You need 16 megabytes of RAM, yes, MB although 24 is recommended, and you need a 66 megahertz processor. Let's see if we can manage that. So over here we have an i7-4790K Devil's Canyon processor with 4 cores and 8 threads running at 4 gigahertz. We've got 16 gigabytes of RAM, although we'll only be using 4 on the virtual machine. And we will be running all of this on a Samsung 850 Evo SSD. Pretty crazy. So let's see how well the installation goes. Will these specs make Windows 98 really happy? Or will they cause it to go into depression? Let's find out. Before we actually load up, I wanted to show you the specifications of the machine we're actually using. So as promised, we will be using 4096 megabytes of RAM. Now I know this is crazy, because being a 32-bit operating system, there is no way Windows 98 can use so much RAM. But we'll have it in there anyway, because that's what this video is all about. And we're allocating all four cores of our CPU. Not sure if that's going to be enough. For display, we are using 128 megabytes of video memory, which is still overkill. And for storage, as I promised, we are using the Samsung 850 Evo SSD with a size of 2 gigabytes. Let's get started. So first we need to boot into our installation media. We're going to boot from CD-ROM. Remember these good old time-limited menus? And now it's loading. Driver provided by Oak Technology. And there's the blue, uh, the classic blue color. And there's actually a button to remove color. Wow, did you know that? Now it's just black. Makes me sad. I can't get it back. There's no apply color button. That sucks. So to set up Windows now, press enter. Boom. So we already have an operating system on this machine, so we will continue set up and replace our sucky Windows 10, which is spying on us. I don't want that. I want an operating system that gives me full control. And Windows 98 is just the right one for the job. Bye bye, slow Windows 10. We are upgrading to Windows 98. To continue, press enter. And boom, wow, that was quick. You usually had to wait for that menu back in the good old days. And let's see what Windows 98 has to say about it. It says estimated time remaining 30 to 60 minutes. We'll see about that. So I'll just hit continue. Oh no, the mouse cursor is lagging. And wow, you can actually select a directory in which you install Windows. You had so much control back then. At this speed, it makes you wonder why those progress bars even exist. Could just fade into the next window. Establishing your location. Back then, location was just about your language and currency and things like that, and not about what information can we steal. Let's start copying files. This is supposed to take 22 minutes. And yeah, I know Windows just got better. We are removing all your spyware. We're being innovative. It's easier to use. We're not taking away your privacy like every other company in 2016. Bringing web to your desktop. No need to download 10,000 apps. Hey, wait, faster performance. Hey, hold on. These screens are going so fast they're barely readable. 
Increased dependability. Yeah, your computer's not going to restart because of a forced update. Increased reliability. Makes sense, actually. Better games. Not plagued by the Windows Store. And finally, we are done. So that didn't take that long. Now our computer needs to be restarted. We are going to boot from hard disk this time. And what the hell? Insufficient memory? Seriously? So it turns out 4 gigabytes of RAM is just not enough to install Windows 98. So let's just go back to 512. And now we can finally boot into our operating system. Username, not Microsoft account. It's just Leo TPSC. That should be good. You still have to accept the license agreement. And now I need to enter my product key. If you're desperately trying to copy down this Windows 98 license key right now, your computer experience must really suck. Now it's installing drivers. Back then, they used to be honest about the effectiveness of their setups. If the progress indicator stops for a long time and there's no disk activity, please restart your computer, because we screwed up. And once again, we need to restart our computer. Some things never change. Ah, uh, back when we actually had a start menu worth using. Wow, Windows is really getting depressed on this computer. Not really its home ground. Come on, live a little. Enjoy your new hardware. It says press any key to continue, but I've literally pressed every key on the keyboard and it's still not continuing. So yeah, Vsod of 98. And we are able to load up safe mode. That's cool. Let's restart the system and see if we can finally get it to work. Yay! It's up and running. Oh, it's finding new hardware. Will it find the GTX 970? Wow. Look at the state of the art stuff. We're in the future, guys. Welcome to the exciting new world of Windows 98, where your computer desktop meets the internet. And now we have our desktop. And programs, and favorites, and documents, an actual start menu. Haven't seen this since ages. No spyware installed. Some things still suck though, like Internet Explorer, MSN Internet Access. Microsoft was busy bloating the internet since antiquity. So there you go guys, the ultimate next-gen operating system ready for use. We can play all our high-end games on this. On a serious note though, you might be wondering why the hell am I installing Windows 98? Well, I have some evil experiments coming up and if you watch the PC Security channel, you can probably guess what those experiments are. So don't just keep wondering, hit the subscribe button so that you can see what I'm talking about. And if you like this video, please hit the like button, show some love for the good old days, and consider supporting me on Patreon, because I really can't spy on people to make money. I'm not Microsoft. And click some of the stuff on the screen. It's awesome. Trust me. Thank you so much for watching, and as always, stay informed. Stay secure.